Susan, I'm going, um, I'm in your course, as you can see, and now I'm going to go to chapter one, where I found that the journal entry three was right here. So I can see 72% of the students, or 21 out of 29, have completed it. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this bar right here. And what that does is it opens up the progress app, and I'm going to go ahead and click on grade the assignment. Now, I did happen to notice that it took a little bit longer to load, and I got impatient and wanted to skip to the next student. But as it turns out, you can see these are all the students right here that have submitted. So I'll go ahead and leave it on this one. And then I'm going to click into the journal entry. And this is the point where I had to wait, because it looked to me like there was nothing here. So I'm going to wait. Now I can see a whirly bird, and I'm going to wait. So you can see it takes good 10 seconds or so and then it says write eight areas of self-assessment record your score for each and then she wrote this I don't know if that's what you were looking for and then down over here it says write about the areas in which you had your highest scores she says my five horror scores were yada 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 so here you can just put in a score for her and then you can move on to the next student, click on go, okay, click on their journal entry, and then wait, and then that will come up. So if you're interested in maybe just giving them a credit, no credit on these, or, you know, something like that, you, I will figure out how to help you along to do that. Now this person didn't actually answer any. So um, you know, that way you don't have to go through and grade them all. But if you want to grade them all, this is how you would do that. So I hope that helps.